Greetings fellow Brobots, it's James Aroni and today I'll be telling you how to get the Chromatic Cell to unlock the newest class in RoboQuest, Elementalist. A ton of you have been asking how to unlock this class, it's probably the most commonly asked question since the 1.0 release, and there's a couple of ways to do it and it's not as straightforward as the other classes are, so let's get right into it. There's actually two different ways you can go about unlocking Elementalist, and there is a longer but easier method and a shorter but harder method. We're going to start off with the easier method. Now, either way, you're going to be grabbing the chromatic cell in Energy Center to unlock Elementalist, so you're doing the same thing. There's just two different routes to get to it. So to grab the chromatic cell, when you first spawn an energy center behind you to your left, you will see a door and a keypad that wants you to enter six digits. You will find those six digits at the halfway point room and energy center inside the weather control room. Now you can either get inside that room with the key or for this method, we're just going to look through the window and get those two numbers. And every time we pass through that room and energy center, we're going to write down or put down wherever those two numbers until you have all six numbers. Then when you return to the beginning of Energy Center on your next run, you can enter those six numbers, grab the chromatic cell. By the way, there's also a data log and the stadium key for Haven City in this room too. And that's it for the first method. You have Elementalist, that's all there is to it. It takes a few repeat tries to run through and grab all six numbers, but that's all there is to it. For the other method, which is also sort of the intended way that you're supposed to get Elementalist, there are a few prerequisites. Number one is you will need the Ruins Path to be unlocked and opened. You can get the Ruins Key from the halfway loot room in Oasis just before the arena. Number two is we will need 25 Power Cells to open up a room to a new level that we need to access, so do not spend your Power Cells if you have the Business Briefcase from Ruins or upgrades that give you more Power Cells, that's great but we need 25, so stay light on them. Number three is that we are entering what is probably the most difficult and most stressful level in the entire game called Doom Gardens. I recommend having a build with some area of effect or some pretty good mobbing ability because you're going to be running through. And four, I would keep track of what elements you have. It's ideal to have every element entering the weather control room and energy center because the different elements that the weather ball is, cryo, burn, and shock, will display the corresponding numbers. So it'll show two numbers for the shock element, two numbers for the burn element, and two numbers for cryo. So having a way to damage the weather ball with each element to change it is ideal. My personal recommendation is to run with Guardian and look out for the Meteonade perk as it is incredibly high damage, but it also cycles through each element every six seconds. So you're guaranteed to have access to all three elements. But let's get into what you actually have to do. So nothing really to do in canyons, like I said earlier, we're going to go through the ruins route. Now once we're in ruins, about the halfway point, we will see a secret room. This room is filled with enemies and has a giant pipe that has a ton of lasers inside of it. And we have to deactivate these lasers with these buttons. There's one here, 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 and here. And after that, this room is open. Grab your data log from this dead robot here, rest in peace, and peer over to your right and you will see the fields key. This key is essential for opening one of the two doors that we need to open in fields. After that, just clear out ruins as normal and don't go through scrapyard because there's no reason to change the route you're going to. You want to guarantee that you go to fields, so complete ruins. Now that we're in fields, we're going to look through the halfway point room again. This is right after this room with the giant goliath cruiser and a bunch of enemies in it. The door to your right in this room will open up with the fields key and you'll be greeted with hopefully bizarre bob and a chest and maybe another merchant. But you'll see this door with 25 power cells. This is the door that we desperately need to access for Doom Gardens. It's the only way to get to Doom Gardens. So please make sure you have 25 power cells. If not, uh, restart the run. By the way, yes, this little hole in the wall does have a data log behind it. But now we enter Doom Gardens, and I hope you brought an extra pair of underwear because you will quite possibly urinate yourself. I'd hate to extend this video even longer, but I feel like I have to give a tutorial on how Doom Gardens works because it's not just a normal level. It is a timed level, and it's a power crystal level. You have to run through and get to the end of the level and defuse the bomb before the time runs out. The boom bots and the bouncy bots are ones that drop time after you kill them, so you have to actually take them down. They can't just blow up by damaging you. There's giant green explosive bots too that give you health. So you have to try and manage the time and health of this level. The good news is 
We don't need to get an S rank or a high rank even to complete this level. You just need to complete the level, so make sure your time is at a decent pace and try to run through as much as you can. With Doom Gardens completed and the Power Crystal claimed, we are taken to Aqua Station. And now this is kind of cool because you actually spawn at the halfway point of Aqua Station. So from here, you can still get the Fusion Core or continue the normal Aqua Station route. Regardless, we are thrown into an empty room with nothing but the weather control room key, and we're going to use this to unlock Elementalist. From this point, you do want to continue the normal route through Aqua Station because going to Fusion Core in this run will skip Energy Center, and we need to get to Energy Center to unlock Elementalist. Now when you get to that halfway point room in Energy Center, you can open up this room instead of just looking through the window and then shoot the weather control ball to change which element displays the numbers. So if you have all three elements in just one go, you can get all six numbers and then enter them at the beginning of Energy Center on your next run. And that is it. Those are both methods to get Elementalist. While there is a third method and it's being an absolute mad lad and guessing 111,111 through 666,666, on the keypad but um yeah i'll probably do that on my own one day and upload it but don't do that it's stupid but that's all there is to it i feel like i had to make this video because a lot of people have been asking and it definitely is the most involved method of unlocking any class in the game the rest of them are fairly easy and simple to get and this one has a little more to it so i hope you guys understand if you don't drop some comments and i'll help you guys down below or hit me up on twitter james aroni tv I'm usually streaming RoboQuest as well, James Aroni. I am struggling to feed my pet rock this month, and he lives on YouTube like, so if you could leave a like on the video, just know you're helping my pet rock survive another day. And don't forget to subscribe, especially if you're in for more RoboQuest content. The 1.0 update did just drop for RoboQuest, and the game is fully released, so there's going to be nothing but videos and streams about RoboQuest for me for quite a while. So this is the place to hang. I'll see you, robots, another day. In Superbot, we trust.